All right, for all my gardening friends, here is my grow bucket setup. Uh, this is actually what's called air pruning. I have a reservoir right here, okay, and that's just a it's just a brine tank, full grade, um, 40 gallons it holds, and we'll eventually have a hose hooked to that so I can pump rainwater out of my re other reservoirs, or I can use just tap water out of it. Um, <clears throat> all you have is you have a valve in here and then that leads to the fill bucket um, and then in the fill bucket what we got here see it there's uh well, it's hard for me to see but at any rate there's um a float belt in there and that keeps the water at that level and then as you can see then it can just feed out as it needs it into the buckets it's important to have this because water, uh, when it's when it's uh, at that level, stays at level regardless of where it's sitting. So if this was to sit too high, the water would would end up flowing out of the buckets here, out of the holes in the buckets. So you got to have everything has got to be on a level surface or as level as possible. So. <clears throat> These are the grow buckets right here as you can see you got lines going with T's in there all through all the way down okay all the way down there and then at the end oops pardon me at the in the end I've got it just set up where instead of feeding back I've got it set up where it's open so it can breathe and you can see you can see the water level where the water level sits so you know you know you're getting water and so on in the buckets so the idea of this again with the grow buckets and we'll find one here to show you better okay tomatoes those are wisconsin 55s there these are um some purple peppers actually they're, they're dark red but you can you kind of see the pepper in there should be pretty good Full of good antioxidants. Um, then we've got uh, these uh, well, they're indigo uh, cherry tomatoes, but they're well, some people call them blueberry uh, cherry tomatoes. And I'm not sure if I can find one real quick, but if I can see it or not. Uh, such as such as this, you can you can you can see the color. They're really dark bluish but they're actually that's actually red really super dark red but anyway right, <coughs> get back to it is here's a grow bucket um again uh and, and of course it's air pruning um you just drill you just drill your holes you know all around the bucket at about five inches high um the uh where the reservoir is in that's about four inches so the water doesn't overflow and the water will sit inside um, down inside there into the bucket which actually it's hard to see but there's a colander that sits in there and then I've just got the landscape fabric some people use bags grow bags um, but I just use landscape fabric and you put that in there and then you fill it with wicking um, potting soil and it will sit in there and the water will, will just wick up um, so you're not splattering and stuff and why having the water on top it just it just draws it up and saves a lot of water that way um, you don't get overflow and so on um, so you know the, the ticket with this and the one thing I do have to do I do have to um, where, where, the, where the open holes are right in there I've got to put some, some screen on there to keep mosquitoes out. But the idea is, is that what happens is, is as, as the, the, the main roots <clears throat> um, grow towards um, the open holes there where the air is, um, which of course you have to have aeration, uh, roots have got to have air, is that what happens is, is that the roots stop right there and then they will put out feeder roots and the feeder roots will get bigger and they'll do the same thing and put out more feeder roots. So it can it can draw up much more uh, much more water and nutrient, and that's the real big trick 
is to be sure that the plant always has water but it also has to have nutrient at all time um, otherwise with tomatoes and peppers you get blossom end rot from either lack of nutrient or lack of water because lack of water means lack of nutrient as well so that's that's sort of my setup um, you know took a while to make but it, 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 it seems to be working extremely well I got a little bit of yellowing going on there but we'll get that off but the rest of the plants seem extremely healthy um, actually it looks like we might have one one cherry tomato that might be just about ready to go it looks like it's a little red I'm not sure um, oh yeah it is just just about ready to go there it's starting to get that that might be a little bit underdone but we're gonna try because I haven't I have never had these uh, really really cool looking tomatoes and there's full of and it, antioxidants so at any rate so there's there's the setup hope you like it no no well i don't know man i don't know about that